Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this dynamic chart here using a checkbox. So last time we create a dynamic chart using radio buttons, but now we're going to replace the radio buttons with a checkbox. So as you can see here, when you check or uncheck the uh, display buttons, then the data will also reflect the details of the chart. So we're going to do that. We're going to do all of this, the simple chart here in sheet. Two. So let's go here. So the first thing is uh, again to create the checkbox by going to this developer tab here and click insert and choose this um, checkbox form control button here. And then create one and then rename this checkbox into Q1 to Q4. So first is Q1. Just edit this into Q1. Then right click and then copy control C, control V, and then rename control V, Q3, control V, Q4. Okay, then select it, I mean uh, align it here into one horizontal line. Okay. Then uh, select one of it and control A. Then go to format. And then in this align button, choose this align middle. And then choose align again and, and then distribute horizontally. Now uh, move it down. So now the next thing is to make a reference for this cell. So I'm going to choose uh, one of it. And then format control. In this cell link, choose C3 for Q1 and click OK. For Q2, the cell link is D3. For Q3, it's cell E3. And for Q4, it's cell F3. OK, we're done now. So as you can see, if all the checkbox are checked, then the reference cell here are all true. If you uncheck it, it's false. So that's how it works. So I'm going to check it all first. And then I'm going to create uh, a reference table for our chart. So control C for copying all of this heading and I'm going to paste it here, control V. And then for the data, I'm going to use the if statement. So I'm writing the if and I'm going to use this. If this value here is equal to true, then return the figures itself. Otherwise, return an NA. I'm going to call NA so that it will display nothing on the chart. And then close it and then lock this uh, row number here and then enter. Copy all of, copy this uh, cell here and paste it here all on all, uh, all the figures for all the figures. Control V and that's it. When you uncheck it, it's going to be NA. And that's it. Now, uh, the next thing is to insert a chart, so I'm going to use this data first, and then uh, insert, and then choose this um, stock bar chart here, okay? I'm going to put the chart here, copy the title here, quarterly sales per department, and then select data and, and switch row or column, okay, that's better, so that... When you check or uncheck it, it will be replaced here. Now I'm going to drag this um, this part onto our, our reference uh, chart data. I'm going to put back the chart here. And then I'm going to select all of it. That's it. And it's Q1. It's working now. Okay. And that's it. So the last part is to insert this um, group button under this developer tab and then just write uh, just edit this part into display buttons and that's it then remove this part this true or false here and uh, make it like it disappear by having a font color of white and that's it that's the chart let's check it again and that's working so I'm finished here. I'm done. If you like this video, you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time. And thanks.